Uh, yeah, so let's get you going outside. We are seeing some snow coming down, as you just mentioned. In fact, our camera atop the building looking toward uh, into Center City, uh, you know, there's one Liberty Tower, one Liberty Place. It's starting to get a little bit more uh, obscured because of the snow that's coming down. Temperature wise, we're well below freezing. Everybody down the shore, Poconos, you name it. We've got some snow here in Philly at 26, 25 is the temperature at this hour. In Trenton, it's 19 around Mount Pocono. Radar showing you some of the snow starting to work on in from essentially Philadelphia, lower Montgomery County through Chester and areas off to the south. The heaviest is still well off to our southwest, and our updated future cast shows. That moving up over the next few hours. So the snow will continue to get a little heavier as we roll through the next several hours. But this evening, all night long, essentially until early tomorrow morning, plan on there being snow, plan on there being some pockets, and also plan on the impacts that that's going to bring school closures, delays, rough travel, that type of thing. It looks to be moving okay right now. But watch by four o'clock in the morning. We start to see some different colors on this map. The green is the rain, the pink is that winter mix. And notice by your morning commute tomorrow, say seven o'clock, right along 95 is going to be that transition line where we could see some of it for a brief period of time go from snow to maybe sleep, but possibly rain. And if it does, that becomes what's called freezing rain. So any surface that's not treated with the salt could freeze on contact, especially if you already have snow, already have a frozen surface there. So we're going to watch that for a little bit of icing tomorrow. Take your time and allow yourself extra time if you're traveling. Now, you folks west of Philadelphia, say Upper Montgomery, Upper Bucks, over to Berks, the Lehigh Valley, this is an all snow event for you. I'm not expecting any mix there. And down the shore, it's snow at first, switches over to rain. This all ends by early afternoon tomorrow, and then this is wave number one that clears out. Then we get into temperatures. But how much snow? We're looking at that widespread two to four inch snow range up and down I 95. Three to five off to the west, locally six inches, and a one to three inch snow for South Jersey. I think everybody in our viewing area gets snow. Some of you a little more than others. Down the shore, less because it will go from snow to rain by tomorrow morning. And then here in the Philadelphia area, ending with a wintry mix tomorrow. Let's talk temperatures. Here's our forecast. I'm going to use three o'clock in the afternoon. Feels like temperature, so peak heating of the day. Right now we're in the mid 20s. Tomorrow at this time, well, three o'clock in the afternoon, we'll be at 23. We advance to Wednesday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, not 7 in the morning, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, our wind chill is 12. It's brutally cold. We go back to 28 on Thursday, keep it in the 20s on Friday. By Saturday, back down again to dangerously cold levels. Again, 10 degrees at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's very important that you prep for the extended cold. We're going seven days at or below freezing. So special care for your pets. Make sure they have heat. It's not like that's oh, a little chilly outside. Deep freeze coming. Their water, their dishes will freeze very rapidly if you don't have like a heated dish or something like that. Fill your gas tank. It's important. It's no problem, but if you get stuck, if there happens to be a problem, you're going to want to sit in the car and let it run and stay warm. So make sure your gas is filled. Winter car kit, if you haven't had uh, stuff in your car, blankets and a little bit of extra food. Check your vulnerable pipes. If you have any of those leaks, or you're going to want to insulate those as well. Also, get some fuel for your generator or your wood for your fire. Not for just tonight. I mean, this is going to be a very long stretch with yet another snowmaker. A little bit of snow on Thursday, tracking another couple of inches of snow for us on Friday. Weather alert. Pretty much, oh, well not pretty much, every day this week. Guys, we'll send it back over to you.